Um, that uh, another another topic um, that's related to the max power available mm -hmm. and um, having the having the system switching to like mm -hmm. lower power state to preserve um, is around the accuracy mm -hmm. of uh, a different system. Yeah. So there, as you talked about, there are errors yeah. that accumulate in errors. Can you talk through um, mm -hmm. like what typical errors are, like just say for generic a generic system, um, and how you know, how those can be accommodated? So uh, do you mean, uh, I mean, what do you mean in the? I'm sorry about yeah. the measurement error. So okay. like when you're trying to get an accurate state of okay. charge, right? There yeah. are. You know, with yeah, the different systems, errors, there's yeah. all sorts of errors that come yeah. back out, right? Or yeah. that are delivered, maybe this is, talk through. Yeah, uh, I think this is a really important topic because a lot of people, uh, they focus on having a battery monitor with a lot of precision, mm -hmm. but they may have like a poor uh, field gauging. And if you have a, like, what do you want a very precise uh, battery monitor, but uh, you don't have a good field gauge? At the end, what you want is to have a very accurate state of charge because right. that's what you are going to show to the customer. Right. Because for uh, protecting the system, you don't need one millivolt of error in the battery monitor because uh, it's not needed, right? But uh, like all the well, not all the customer, but some of them, they think that if I have a very accurate uh, battery monitor, I can have a very accurate field gauge. But that's not true. Uh, what we say is okay, you have you can have a average in accuracy uh, battery monitor, but if you have a really good field gauge, you are going to achieve less than 2.5 state of charge error. 2.5? Yeah. Two point, what, what do you mean 2.5? Uh, like uh, your deviation, your maximum deviation from the real state of charge is 2. going to 5 be... 2.5%? 2.5%. 2.5%, yeah. okay. Yeah, 2.5%. Okay. So let's say maybe if you have a 5 millivolt um, battery monitor, mm -hmm and you pair this monitor with our field gauge, for example, you are going to achieve uh, like less than 2.5% of error in the state of charge. Well, why is it, if you have a, let's say you have a credibly precise battery monitor, yeah. why would you not get uh, accurate uh, state of charge calculations on the other side, no matter what fuel gauge you use? Um, if you uh, have a really, really accurate uh, battery monitor, you, you mean it, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, if, it, if it say it, yeah. yeah. You have like a very accurate, but your field gauge is not that, like if your field gauge is not accurate, uh, I mean, you, you, I mean the import, the, 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 that the one that is performing the, all the calculations right. is the one that has to be very, very, um, very, very precise. Okay. So even if you are delivering a good, like a very good measurements, but your field yeah. gauge is not that good, yeah. it doesn't matter because it's, the error will be in the field gauge. So how do you have, it sounds like you can have an accurate state of charge yeah. coming out of the fuel gauge, even with, um, let's say a less accurate yeah. battery monitor. Can you just talk through the math of how, yeah. it seems um, counterintuitive that that could happen. Yeah, uh, because the way that we are uh, developing our algorithm takes into account uh, the possible errors in the measurements, the cell voltage and current measurements okay. that the battery monitor uh, is providing. Mm -hmm. So uh, we can compensate this error in our algorithm. Okay. So it doesn't really matter if you uh, have one millivolts or five millivolts in terms of a state of charge, it may be, it doesn't vary a lot, maybe 1% of error, but having a really accurate battery monitor is maybe three, four times more expensive than having a regular one. Okay. So that's why we think, okay, if you have a really good accurate, you can like save four times the, the money that you are expending right now. Okay. So even with a, say an average battery monitor, yeah. you still can get incredibly precise in, yes. state of charge, which yeah. is what in the end, it's what matters. What matters, yeah. It's yeah. what really matters to yeah. the customer and to, to the system. Okay. Because you, with this, if you don't have this, this state of charge very accurately, mm -hmm. um, you are going to, like, your customers are not going, going to be happy You're going to run out of power or have yeah. power when you think you're running out. Yeah. Either yeah. way, your phone runs for 1% for, for hours, hour. yeah. <laughs> which seems really weird, yeah. right? And also, for example, if you go in a car mm -hmm. and Maybe it says, okay, uh, 80 kilometers of range. 
right. then it goes suddenly to 60, then goes up to 70. Right. Well, that's going to like yeah. drive you crazy, right? Right, right. But if you have a, one very accurate, it will like go very smooth. That's the important thing. Like it has to be very, very smooth. Right, yeah. Yeah, you want to know what the reality of the battery pack yes. is, right? 